Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China. I hope you guys are progressing well with the new year and everything is uh, flowing and uh, you are kicking the new year in style. Right about, right about now, I'm in Nyabuhanse village. I'm in Nyabuhanse village. It's very, very peaceful, very calm. Uh, not so much going on, but a lot going on in this village, actually. We have been doing a documentary or some series about the hidden treasures of Nyabuhanse. And uh, so far, I've uh, had an amazing time here in Nyabuhanse documenting uh, about the hidden treasures of Nyabuhanse. I have not had time to explore this other end, but uh, let me just show you what's happening around here in Nyabuhanse. It's very green as you can see, very calm, very peaceful. I like this vibe, uh, makes you relax, makes you connect with the village life. There's a farmer here who is doing serious farming. These are called Sukuma Wiki, very good in Kenya. It's one of the most uh, common vegetables here in Kenya, Sukuma Wiki. Sukuma Wiki means push week. Maybe because it's mostly used here in Kenya, so they prefer to call it Sukuma Wiki and see how they grow. Maybe if I can show you a close view of uh, how the plant looks like so that you appreciate the Sukuma Wiki. Okay, here we go. Wiki. So I hope I'll have a good time going around and about this beautiful, beautiful village. We have a cow over here. This is the main road from Migori all the way to Isebania. Maybe there's a wedding. There's a wedding happening. There's a wedding happening. Let's see. I can see a videographer over there. There's a wedding happening on this other end. Now that music might be a big problem for my video. If it is copyrighted not be so good. Now, I have to watch it. I just have to keep rolling. There's some beautiful cows grazing over here. One of them is there. There's another one over here. This is a male. Also that is a male. And probably that one is a female okay. grazing nice and easy so here is the wedding this is the fleet I don't know maybe homecoming or a wedding I don't know that's what's happening That's one as the bride and the bride. 
Maybe they are going for the reception or something. I see another fleet of vehicles coming on this other end. I don't know where it's going, but it seems like it's going to Nyabohanze. Maybe over there. Let's see. It's a big fleet of vehicles coming all the way from there. Going over there, here in Nyabuhanse. Uh, wish I had the time to attend one of the weddings. I'm not. The reason why I came here, I came here to document the hidden treasures of Nyabuhanse. And I hope you guys have been liking or enjoying those uh, episodes. Kindly, if you are watching, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Anoto in China. So the fleet is over there, and this is the last one. So, heading to the farthest end. Oh, they are going to Nyabuhanse. That's the direction they are going. Maybe towards Maras, Marwas. Uh, Villa, Villa Medellin, and see what's happening. Uh, one of my videos I've seen, Steve Mwango's land is somewhere here, and she intends to put a business on this farm. So, probably she said she'll put a petrol station. Over here. So it's a bit swampy, so the best thing for her to do, because a friend of mine is a con contra con contractor, he constructs special station. So if they have a piece of land like this, the best thing for them to do is they'll do backfilling. Backfilling is basically filling this piece of land with the so many rocks and pebbles to raise it because uh, it's a swampy area maybe in future it could face some uh, floods so it's good to raise this place so you see the level of the road uh, actually this is the le level of the road and when constructing a petrol station you need to backfill this so that this place will be at least one meter above uh, the normal uh, level of the road. So in case it rains, uh, the water will be carried off or it won't be flooding because petrol and or diesel and water don't go hand in hand. So if Dimwangu wants to construct a petrol station here in the future, she will need to backfill this place to uh, above one meter the level of this uh, road so that uh, the water will be well drained so that's uh, some uh, tips she might need in the near future so it will be good business because i've not seen any petrol station around here in Yapohanse. so that would be a good business and speaking about business so today uh, as i've been documenting the amazing episodes of the hidden treasures of Nyabuhansi. I'm going to, maybe some of you already know, somewhere there. I'm going to Village Grand Pass Place to have a brief conversation with him so that uh, we are able to know, uh, to know about him and to uh, know about Nyabuhansi because uh, he is an elderly just the age of my father and uh, he is embracing YouTube so we want to know about that but uh, I'm Zuri Ukopoa Asante that was my brother ah come I can see some celebrities here hey how are you I'm fine. Welcome to Anoto in China. Move yeah. this way so that... Uh, yeah, thank you. So what are you doing here? You are not in the villa? 
Uh, I'm not in the village today. Uh -huh. uh, actually, since we started this uh, celebration of the Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, so I'm just chilling around. Oh, you are taking a day off? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hope you're doing good. Yeah, introduce yourself for the sake of my audience. Yeah, thank you. Uh, guys, I go by the name I am Handascos. Yeah? I'm uh, also a content creator. Yeah, yeah. So that's the name that I use on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh -huh. So, if you're the first time, mm -hmm. kindly go and check me out too. So, I'm happy to see you within the village actually. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 I've actually finished uh, documenting about the villa. Yeah. So right now I'm here in, in the market. I'm out and about. I want to go up to Tanzania to show people the other side of the country that I don't know about. Okay. And I'm also finishing my documentary about the hidden treasures of Nebuhansi in terms of content creation wow. because you guys are a gem and you have made it big yeah. and uh, now the world knows Nebuhansi through you guys yeah so it's good to document that and uh, show people the other side of Nebuhansi yeah. and the hidden treasures of Nebuhansi mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah how is your channel doing uh, my channel is just doing good uh -huh. i do appreciate mm -hmm. uh, thank god for everything how many subscribers do you have uh, currently i'm just uh, uh, almost 2000 mm -hmm. so i have got a 1500 1500 yeah yeah and uh just now yeah uh, we're looking for watch hours watch almost, hours yeah for like, monetization uh, for monetization okay okay it's like uh thousand, less than a thousand okay. meaning to be monetized less than a thousand yeah oh yeah. but i'm sure next year you'll reach 100,000 plus uh, yeah, sure, yeah 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 sure. okay yeah so today i'm, I'm seeing village grandpa yeah I don't know his place. I know it's somewhere here, it but is where we have the motorbike. Oh, here, 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 here. here. Just the place. Okay, okay. Yeah, the place. I'm going to talk to him briefly. Okay. So it's nice meeting you. Nice My name is Anoto in China. I know the first time I we used to meet at the villa. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's only that I've been busy. You have been busy. And even now. So yeah. It's it's okay. that yeah, it's okay. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bye bye. See you. All right. Yeah. That is one of the YouTubers here. They might look very humble and simple to you, but uh, they are actually making it big. So, I'm told this is village grandpa's place, so uh, I'm here and I hope, uh, let me see, hello, this is, is busy, I must wait and see if I can be able to talk to him. He maybe has some customers, so I wait. So I need for him to see that I'm here. So his place is on this highway. He set up a hardware here. It's called Mapzones. Mapzones hardware. Going this way, you can be able to see uh, the business. And he has a, a shed, a beautiful shed, so you'll be able to know more uh, about him but first maybe uh, he needs to know that I'm around so that we start uh, uh, this amazing amazing recording so he has some guests maybe or some clients I don't want to interrupt that so let's wait for village grandpa to finish with the and then we proceed here in Nyabuhanse village. Then I hope I will be able to go to the places around this place and uh, we'll be able to have a beautiful vegetation. It's what's happening. A really humble village, a really humble, they call it their town, but I call it their center. It's a very, very small center, but uh, with big and promising uh, names. The next thing I will want to do, uh, Marwa was staying somewhere here. I need to know where, I need to go there and see the place where they were staying as we wind up on this amazing documentaries about the hidden treasures of Nyabuhansi. So I might be taking you there in uh, maybe the next episode. So let's wait and see. This is Anoto in China. I'll see you after the end of the break. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We'll meet at the end of the break.